What's going on? We back. It's the Boston Clinic of Moore. Your boy CJ Goodfella. One time for the one time. And uh, Amir Khan just won a unanimous decision over Samuel Vargas. Um, and, you know, Khan was dropped in this fight. I believe Vargas was do- dropped a few times in this fight as well. Um, very, very, um, you know, lackluster reviews for this fight as far as a lot of the things outside the ring as well. The zone had some commentators tonight. They was terrible. The ref was terrible. I mean, Vargas gave an effort. Amir Khan couldn't get Vargas out of there, but Khan still looked like he needed a couple more tune-ups before he get in there and tussle with the uh, with the elite of the welterweight division. If he, even if he can compete with that that type those those type of uh, boxers anymore, um, you know, it's tough. It's real, real tough because. Um, tonight he's got, still got hand speed, but as a fighter, he, he's not getting more knowledgeable. He's not being smarter, you know, um, as his faculties get, begin to drop, which happens to older fighters, your mind supposed to get sharper and his mind isn't getting sharper. He's, he he does, he, he making the same mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Um, keeping his hands, you know, um, at home with somebody punching and covering up and ready to catch him on the back end, you know, moving. And dropping his hands all the way down, damn near to his waist, and that's how he got dropped drop Rush Vargas, moving backwards and dropping his hands down, you know. And um, you know, Amir Khan don't even like he got the legs to even do this shit no more, man. You know, he made it twelve, but it wasn't an easy twelve. You know what I'm saying? And Khan has always been a front runner, you know. And a front runner means you start off strong and you you don't finish as strong. You finish slow. But Vargas kept coming all night. But Vargas took some hellacious shots. Khan was low enough with the right hand, the left hook. And you you would thought he would got Vargas the hell up out of here, man. And um, you know, you know, Vargas just kept coming. You know what I'm saying? Vargas was trying to lead off to the right to the body, to the right to the head. He should have used his jab more, but you know, Vargas gave him a hell of a run for his money. You know, I know it was wide on the scorecards as it should have been, but Vargas' effort, you know, at parts in this fight and his chin and his heart was on full display. All right. And um, you know, Khan was using the jab, but like I say, man, Khan is is not getting he's not getting smarter. You know, Khan is making the same same mistakes. You know, covering up. He not transitioning from defense to offense well. He don't have the legs he used to have. Um, he's still dropping his hands. You know, he's still punching recklessly without worried about when, without thinking about what's coming back. He not shorting his combinations up. He not he not progressing as a veteran fighter should progress, and it's only a matter of time. You know, one more step above this type of guy, you know, two more at the most, you get knocked out. I see why he doesn't want to fight Kell Brook. You know what I'm saying? Kell Brook will knock Amir Khan the fuck out, man. Even right now. Because Kell Brook is going to land that money shot. And when he does, you know, ain't nothing Khan going to do about it but go to sleep. But the zone had two announcers on today. They was riding Amir Khan. Man, they was on his team. They, you thought it was Tom, Khan, Mama, and Daddy. And his brothers was called in the fight, man. And, and they was just, you know, Khan couldn't do no wrong. Even when he got dropped, they still, they seen the uh, they seen the glasses half full, not half empty. You know? And it, it kind of looked like dog shit today, man. Especially after he dropped Vargas and thought it was going to be an easy fight to get him up out of there. You know, like I say, Khan, he ain't no elite uh, welterweight right now. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think he's a second tier welterweight, man. He, he probably a third or fourth tier welterweight. But it's expected when you off for two years. You know what I'm saying? Samuel Vargas was a guy that wasn't even ranked. They paid to get him ranked. And Amir Khan, damn sure, like I said in my video the other day, he damn sure don't deserve a title shot, especially not off this victory. But if he get a title shot, somebody's going to whoop his ass. Even Pacquiao. You know how Pacquiao looked in Malaysia versus Matisse? Pacquiao will stop Amir Khan. I guarantee you that. Pacquiao right now will stop Amir Khan. You know what I'm saying? And Amir Khan, I don't know... I know he had some problems making weight. I don't know if it was the weight or whatever, but he don't look like the same fighter. Even if physically, he don't look like the same fighter. He look like a fading Asian fighter. Um, and uh, and that's it, man. But the zone, man, on Facebook feed, it dropped. You know what I'm saying? The commentators were sucky. The referee, oh my God, he. I mean, he wouldn't even let he wouldn't even let Vargas, you know, get close to Khan without breaking it up. That's another thing about the situation. He would not let Vargas work and get close to him, man. And and it was frustrating. I'm just I see why a lot of guys, a lot of Americans over history didn't want to travel to the UK. They hold commission, they refs suck, they judges suck. I don't blame for nobody not wanting to go over there. You know? But yeah, he he sucked today. The guy, the, the referee, he definitely sucked. The commentating sucked. 
the zone was dropping off. It, it, some people stream wasn't streaming. I was sleep streaming from my fa my laptop. It wouldn't stream. I thought it was just my laptop, but other people was reporting that issue they had in the comment section. So they didn't get off on the right foot. Their commentary sucked. They they streaming sucked. I mean, but overall, you know, I'm glad it was free and nobody had to pay for this BS. You know what I'm saying? And um, Carol Brook did speak at the fight. He said everybody know kind of want to fight. He embarrassing his family. Basically, I'm paraphrasing. But like I said, right now Pacquiao or well, Isamir Khan, man, no doubt about it. Right now, it's, it's, I mean, I don't even think it'll be that competitive, man, from the kind I seen tonight. But like I said, it's only a second fight back after two years as well. But no doubt, Errol, Terrence, Keith, uh, Danny, Sean, all of them beat Amir Khan. Amir Khan not even in the same league as him. You know, and that's the actual fact. And I'll throw Kell Brook in there. Kell Brook will ice Amir Khan if he can make the weight comfortably. You know, no no doubt about it, man. Amir Khan, he's just a shell of himself right now. But like I said, disclaimer, people going to say what they want to say. I said, after two years off, I mean, it's going to take more than two tune-ups, man. He's going to need probably a couple more tune-ups, and, and, and then he may be ready to go. But but like I say, uh, yep, it was it was a subpar performance, but he dominated. He got the win. At all, that's all that matter. Khan got dropped, but he, uh, he also dropped Vargas a couple times, I believe, as well. And hurt Vargas a whole bunch of the times, but Vargas came on strong and didn't um and didn't give up. All right, but um don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All those links in the description. If you're trying to watch Danny Garcia, Sean Porter tonight, go ahead hit the boycott link in the description. I am streaming live tonight, so um through that group. So make sure y'all check that out. If you want to donate, um the PayPal link is here. Or you can wait till we go live. We might go live sometime tonight. I might go. I might do a live commentary as well. On YouTube for com I mean for Danny and Sean for the entire car, so be on the lookout for that as well. One time for the one time, I know the